Hey guys, yeah, let me start by asking you a simple question. You happen to know what time it is right now? It's time for three random games. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to another episode of three random games. It is that game series where we play three random games all from the internet within the confinements of this singular video. What did that feel right? Now I'm sure some of you guys checked out the game where I played Building 71. I explained in then that I was feeling a little bit burnt out and I still am at the moment. I was starting to recover from that and then guess what happened guys? I went ahead and got sick and still am a little bit. I'm taking it easy for this one. I still want to play games but I got to rest up. So with that said, if you enjoy this episode, you know exactly what to do. Let's get game number one. This first game we are checking out is called Cage Face. Case won the mine. It's made by Alex Olinkiewicz. Wait, I just absolutely slayed that name. Are you serious? This guy hit me up in my emails. He said, hey, check out this game I've been making. I took a look at the itch page and it actually looks sick. So first up, we can check around the desk. Uh... Oh my gosh, you see the way his jaw is the only thing remaining of his face? All right, so that's what we're looking for. VHS cardboard sleeve, counts and record, the mind instant. There's a locked box over here. I regret the things I did when I was young, and as I became old and gray, I still seek an answer to what I've done. I don't think the MCS in my heart will ever feel full if I don't pay for what I did. Three digit code, who knows what that's all about. Autopsy, multiple stab wounds to the body, resembling a pickaxe. Signs of damage to the lungs, fitting poisoning as well. Hold up, they did not get off easy. Got a diary down here as well. I got a new case today. A woman came into my office looking distraught, begging me to help find her grandpa. Apparently he'd been missing for three months and the cops had dropped their search, as they usually do. She was getting desperate, so she decided to hire me. It's always nice to be someone's last resort. <laughs> yeah, uh, that sucks, man. I normally don't do cases like this. It's pretty run-of-the-mill and I've had my fill of breaking bad news to people. But when she told me how much she was willing to drop for this, well, I couldn't say no. Day three, I finally managed to get into the grandfather's home. The trouble was worth it, though, because I managed to find a box he'd kept hidden deep in his wardrobe. It had a lot of odd stuff in it. Newspaper, documents, VHS tape. So all of the stuff that we have on our desk is from the grandpa ourselves. That makes me have a lot of questions, though, because the grandpa was the guy who actually drew this thing. The freak goes on in your imagination, sir. All right, I guess we got to go ahead and do this thing, right? There's nothing more we can do around here. So if we click this, select the game mode. Mobile also saves illness progresses at standard rate. Well, that's just fantastic, isn't it? Let's put that VHS tape in. Guys, we're taking down Cage Face, whatever his name was. I'm kind of scared. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. So... Let's start with the events that happened in that mine, if you're able to. Oh, so we got some backstory here from our characters, I guess. Me and my bud had graduated from high school and we were soon going to be leaving for college. We couldn't wait. We'd finally get to leave that dump of a town once and for all. But we also kind of wanted to leave our mark there, you know? So my friend knew about this shut down mine they were reopening for use. The miners were going to work on it a bit in the morning and take the rest of the day off. So we figured we could sneak in at night and tag the place. So the time came, but it turned out my flashlight was old and pretty faulty. My dad did hunting though, and he legit had a night vision. Scope. When I got to the mine, my friend wasn't there, so I figured he'd just gone in without me is all. Turns out that I was right. He'd used a ladder to get over some big metal gate. I went in the same way he did and started looking for him. And this is where we pick up. Oh my god, that's a lot of controls. You think I'm gonna remember this? Okay, guys, we are beginning the game. So we're in a west area, full storage, storage room. What the freak? So we came down this like old abandoned mine shaft. Uh, let me press that button. Switch would open for the metal door if it had power. So it's out of power. In the case of power outage, use the backup generator located in the section between the ears. Yo, I can literally hear someone here already. To all my restoration workers, I want it to be perfectly clear what you're doing here. This comes straight from the supervisor, so make sure you commit all this to memory. Our current job is to install new lights and fixtures, fit new metal doors and electric systems, put up signs marking the dangerous, and prepare the cleaning and reopening of collapsed tunnels. You might know some items left from here when the mine was open back in the 1800s. The supervisor made it very clear. If it's not in the way, leave it alone. All right, that might be our cue to start picking things up. You know what I'm saying? Check this back door. Lock has a padlock. All right, that's the east area. So which way do we go first? Let me just reread this note. Talks about the generator being within the east and west areas. Maybe we should go to the storage room, I think. You know, maybe this won't be best. Okay, dang this flashlight. Good thing I packed my father's night vision scope. Uh, wait, how the freak do I use that again? <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, dang, this is creepy. This is actually really creepy. No one reads reports, so I'll put this here. After putting away a jury can, I noticed the center support uh, frame snapped. Ceiling could come down. Okay, so that one's unsafe. They've barred that thing up ahead of time. All right, let's keep moving. Yo, is this thing got like a time limit though? The night vision? What the f Okay, that bear of an ambience, that's all I'm saying. Collapsed tunnel. Dude, I just wanna like get out of this place ASAP. Door is locked again with a combination lock. Really not good. I don't know if this thing has power too. Like we can run out of this. West area. Ooh, the door is clearly locked, but something is keeping it locked from the other side. Can't open that. 
Holy crap, dude. That sign made me... I ain't even got to repeat the last part of that. It lights flickering. We're back on this thing. We're going down the collapse tunnel. There's... Ooh, there's a side passage here. Hey, hold up. Is that my friend? Yo, bro. Are you good? Oh, my God. I don't know what the heck did this to him, but I'm not about to sit around and find out. The metal door is blocking me, though. How am I going to get out? Maybe you have something that can help me, though. Sorry, buddy. And I see a flashlight. Wow. We're searching this corpse. Hey, please have something good in your back pocket. Let's see. Okay, east area key. You know what, dude? That was worth it. All right, let's move back through. So we have the east area key. Now, I can hear so many sounds down this mine. Listen, man, it was a bad idea to try and tag this thing. Let me try this door again. That's still not gonna open, so we gotta make our way back now. <laughs> Air is starting to feel heavy. I should get out of here fast. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Back on ourselves? I don't wanna go the way where I'm starting to get poisoned. So let me see, fuel storage. L listen, guys, I don't know. I'm gonna head back this way here and see what happens. There was a door at the start. Maybe we can use the key on it. Let's try east nope. area, padlock. I need a key. I mean, you got a key, fella, but this obviously ain't the right one. It was. Oh, so we're in east area. Hey, let's go. More hiding spaces, it looks like. Just abandoned tracks down here. Hey, who's breathing like that? What the fuck? Run! Run! Holy crap, holy crap! Bro, he didn't see me, he didn't see me. Oh my! Oh, he saw me! Oh! Okay. Guys, I think my life might have just been ended right there. All right, guys, now I hopped in this thing real quick. I know he didn't see me. Is that foot movement? That sounds like some kind of movement, right? Yo, what the freak? Can I move? I've been waiting a few minutes. I'm gonna hop out. I guess he didn't see me? Or maybe I didn't even trigger him. Hold on, hold on. Night vision on. I'm looking around here, guys. Maybe... Okay, he's there. Yo, he just spawns in! Oh my god, he's quick! He's actually real quick! Where's my friend's body at? I gotta keep running. I can see my stamina down there. How do I outrun him? I got no chance. Maybe I can make this corner. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so we're going this way here. We're going to swerve into this corner real quick. Get hiding. Hopefully he doesn't see us. Here we go, here we go. So hop in, hop in. Hold on, if he sees me, this game is rigged though. Oh, he's coming back. But he don't... You see him 180 so quickly? He swerved. He thought we went down here. Okay, guys, I'm hopping out. I don't want to wait in here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, I don't see him. Let's go. I'm going to actually turn my flashlight off. I don't want him to, uh, like, see my radius. So, which way do you go back? Which way do you go back? That is the new question, right? Next question, is the west area still blocked up? Something's still holding that shut then. Maybe we gotta try and unlock that door on our route. Guys, we're back where we saw him before. Please don't tell me he came straight back here. I feel like we need to get through somehow. All right, we have some time, but not much. Uh, the generator is here, but it needs to be topped up with gas. Backup generator. Do know that the generator is mostly around in case we have power outage and need the front gate open. It needs an ignition key, and it uses special fuel and won't take anything else. Both of those can be found in the fuel storage station. The code is waxing quarter, waxing crescent, waning? Okay, keep it on. The <laughs> what the f- What are you talking about in your riddles, dude? You are talking in riddles, and I'm stuck down here being chased by cake. Get it, get the freak in. I see his light. And I hear him squelching. That's the west door. If we get that open, we have a flank crew there. We're gonna hop out. We're gonna hop out. I saw his little flashlight head. Now, I'm thinking if I open this thing, it might help. Hey, where's the hammer in there? Woo! Okay, so now we got a flank crew. What the? Yo! He spawned behind me! He's literally cheating! I'm unwell. Oh my gosh, yeah, I can tell I'm unwell. I'm literally being chased down by a man with a cage on his head. And I'm about to run into the corpse of my buddy. Same strap, we get in. Don't even look back, don't look back. Come on, cage face, give us a break. So we're now on WoW. How do we get around this one? This is very, very confusing. Sounds like he backed up again. Definitely. We're just gonna hop out, man. I don't wanna wait. Night vision on. <gasps> oh! He just like legit spawns in behind you and it's a chase. Oh my gosh, so we gotta hide again. I'm trying to figure out what the heck I do next. Okay, this. The freak waxing crescent. Waning Crescent. We're being given times. So Waxing Quarter, Waxing Crescent. Let's just get those two then. So Waxing Quarter. That looks like it's the three. We have three, two, and then ten as our code. Wait, that might be for the locked box that we have on our desk. Yep, those cards block the other way through. It's a small running area. It really is. I'm starting to wonder, there's one door left that we need to open. Maybe that's the code for it. I think it was like an old swivel lock. This might be bad. What the freak? Why do you sound like birds? You have birds in your cage, you are weird. Okay, oh my God, look at him. Look at his figure. Dang. 
That's kind of messed up. Didn't they used to use birds in the mines down here to tell like when there was poison and stuff? I think the birds would react a certain way, so that might be the idea behind Cage Face. If it is, all I'm saying is, the freak, that's messed up. Okay, fuel storage, so let me see. It's got to be a swivel lock. It has to be. So we've got three. Let's go two, and then... Wait, you can't... Bro, he just flanked me. Straight up behind me. Look at this man. Ah! He's literally... Hold up. Ooh. Oh my gosh, come on, dude! He just spawned in behind me! Alright, guys, so now I know exactly what we do next. Uh, first of all, we hide in here. We've got to use the hammer to get into that small room. And then from there, we can probably make a bit of a strat. Let this dude pass! You see the hacks he's got? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. My light is flickering a lot. I think that means he's nearby. It's like a hint. Okay, open this, open this. Woo! Yep, you can hear him chatting away. At least the bird's in his head. Got the empty jerry can. So now we need fuel. I don't even know where the fuel was at. Oh, I'm being stupid. It's a waxing quarter. It's three, two, and then we have the waning. So we got three, two, eight is our code. Three, two, eight. So let's get back to that room. Let's go. We got three, two, and then we want to go eight. Woo! Okay, we're in. We're in. This is good. So this is where the fuel should be, right? And we just fuel the jerry camp first of all. If we get stuck in here, oh, this is not going to be pretty. This is really not going to be good. Come on, I can hear the birds chattering. Okay, we have that done. Good. I'm actually going to sit in this thing straight up. Let's make a plan then, because it talks about... The generator key is right on the wall. My sickness is terminal. What the? You see that? I mean, I can hear the birds in his cage. If I was to leave right now, he'd probably snap me up. You know what? I got no choice. He's kind of cornering me. He sounds close. He sounds real close. Let's go. We're running this way. Okay, we've got to go night vision. So, we get back. We have the key. We have the jerry can. We fuel this... What the frick? That scared the crap out of me. Okay, so we need the jerry can. Not the generator key. The jerry can. Here we go. Come on. You can see the gauge moving. Just don't spawn in on me. Please don't pull a bendy in the ink machine. Please. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I got paranoid. That's fueled. We're good. Now we need the key. Pop the key in. Yes, let's go. We have light. So we should be able to get out now, right? Oh yeah. We're getting out. He sees us. I am risking it. I am risking it. Let's go. Open the door. Open the door. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Call it. Call it. Woo! Are we good? Wait, what the freak? Wait, are you kidding me? The doors would not open. Okay, let's hit this this time. Come on, elevator. Let's go. Let me out. Let me out. Look at that. That's all I needed to do. And I would have gone out. Once I got the gate open, I got out of there as quickly as possible. I couldn't help but glance back, though. But that thing was gone. Nowhere to be seen. I didn't feel like sticking around, so I just kept running and made my way home. It was late, and my parents had noticed I was gone, so they were up and ready to chew me out for it. But they forgot about that pretty quickly when they saw the state I was in. I was in shock, and at some point, I even started puking. You have to understand that the events you described are rather extraordinary. You might have been in shock, or perhaps the mine had residual gas that affected your mind. The monster could have just been a regular man. I wasn't imagining things. Dang it, there was a dang monster there. Listen, I understand that you're very stressed right now, but there are much more reasonable explanations than that. I knew you wouldn't believe me. There's some kind of weird creature in those mines, and if you were all smart, you'd be telling people to stay away from them. So we didn't even get believed. So, we've beaten the case. Let's check out that code, though, on the box. Can we get into Grandpa's box? Okay, so it was three, two, and then eight. It doesn't open the box. That is interesting. That was definitely the code we had before. He sealed that away, though. How about that? Guys, maybe I'm being stupid. Either way, we managed to escape Cage Face. However, the law and everyone, they didn't even believe that this thing went down. So, did we really get anything achieved from this? We have a friend dead in the mine, and the police are saying it was gas. The freak killed him, then. You about to blame me? I'm done with this universe. That was a fun little game, but let's check out game number two. I need my equipment to make the perfect dog. Can you wait a sec? Now you see- is your dog okay? Alright guys, this second game is called Doghouse, I believe. It was one of the top rated horrors on itch. It's like an old school N64 slash PS1 aesthetic. So, we're trying to build this dog a house. What's with this creepy ambience? Uh, wait, why do you look like a horse from the front? Can't open the door. So, we click the screwdriver. Uh, I'm gonna need that saw real quick. Thank you very much. And this one though, it looks like it's been- Not enough. I need to check the garage. Is that me talking or my dog? Yo, I don't feel good about this. So we got cement. Uh, garage is open. We got more wood in there. I'll be taking that. And we need the hammer. It's yes. Not big enough to hold you. Why is this game weird? Give me the uh, padlock. Bro, that thing's like two foot big. Give me the, the metal sheet. Shut what? Why is my dog looking like this? Uh, close it. Wait, my game just closed down. My... 
the game just hold up. You are constructing the perfect dog house for your beloved pet, but while you're working, you notice that your dog looks different. I think, guys, I think that was the full game. If the, you know, if the screen transitions right now, we just beat it. Why does it sound like each time I click something, I'm about to drop a mixtape? This last game is called The Killer Doll, aka Chucky. We see this man on the screen. It's your best friend forever. There's a picture of a gun and another gun. I don't like this. I don't know what this is, guys. I want to check this thing out. We are not doing any hard difficulty because I know it's going to take me 10 years to do. Here we go. Good guy. He's literally called the good guy doll. And he's not within the... <laughs> what, you want to turn your audio down? <laughs> Dude, your mic is peaking. How is it even possible to have that much background noise? Turn on the breaker in the basement. First of all, this is the noisiest house I've ever heard in my life. Let me just open those a second. Can you imagine just like chilling? You're trying to meditate. All right, so we've got to go to the basement. This don't. Oh, this looks like a basement. Stonewall decor. Good evening. Ah, oh, okay. There's my doll. Uh, how's it going, Chucky? You don't look so great. I'm gonna go turn on the basement thing. So we got a chair down here. We got a plant thriving despite the lack of light. How about that? Unless we was on the upstairs floor, and we gotta still go down to our basement. It's gotta be around here somewhere, right? But only I can remember the layout of my own house. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This way here? Maybe so. I have no idea. It looks like a second living room. Where the heck is my basement? And also, oh my, who the heck are you, Lord Farquhar? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Uh. Where the freak is Chucky? I swear he was down here. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. It's kind of weird. Okay, we've got to find the basement. Maybe my sister took the doll. Oh, we found the basement. Not having a door on this thing, no. Yeah, it's creepy. Dude, I turned my flashlight off. There you go. All right, let's open this. And we want to flick the switches, I suppose. Hey, we have light. We have light. Or at least we're trying to get light. You see how flickery this is? Construction pallets down here. What are you doing? Like, working on something? Okay, we've got a chain door. We can't move that. Uh-oh. Yo, Chucky's about to be like, uh, my neck is... Oh, my... <laughs> you see him in the baby crew? The freak did he go? Oh, my gosh. My dining room is flickering up. This don't feel right, guys. Uh, let me check my, my second dining room. Is the other doll still there? Lord Farquaad, he's just chilling right there. Wait, hold on. What are we trying to do? I don't really understand what we're doing here. So that's locked. Maybe we need the key for that. Uh, we got upstairs. Oh, my gosh. My doll. Uh, what's with the tomato sauce down here, Chucky? What have you been doing? Let's open. Door's locked. This one's open. It's a bathroom. Why is my doll leading me to a bathroom? Wait. Was that door open before? Uh, I'm gonna go upstairs. Let's see this door here. It's locked. Why have you bring me over here, fella? I can't even do anything. I, I can't even do what you want. Wait, what's this? Okay, Chris, I see the item. Let's go. Uh, parents' room key. No. Chucky was sat outside my parents' room. Chucky, this is a prank, right? You know, my brother just placed you down there. He's trying to make me scared. Trying to make me think that you'd do something like that. So, let's use it. Unlock. Let's open this. No! What the freak? Why would this happen? Oh, God. this red all over the floor. That doll moves quick. That's all I'm saying. What the freak? Guys, please. Uh, why is my dad... Why, why is his eyes like that? Why has he got blue eyes? Okay, I'm taking this key right here. What is this? What's the key? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Garage key to a dad. Uh, you see the garage key? Ah! Okay, this kind of messed up. I ain't gonna lie. This kind of weird. Maybe it's in one of these drawers here. We'll search them all. Well, my parents would have tucked you away somewhere nice and safe. What? What the heck? Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. You shift to run? Oh my god, yo. I'm in the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom. Yo, get flagged, get flagged. Ah! Oh my god, he chopped my calf muscle. He chopped my calf. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, all right. All right, we got this battle music. Lord Farquaad, you got the key? E. Wait, I think he's lost me. I think he's lost me. Where could he be? Oh, we got time, we got time. Let's try open this then. So, why, why won't we use the garage key? Maybe we need both of them? Let's find that second one then. It's gotta be lying around somewhere in this house. Dude, his eyesight is bad. Let's check these countertops. I don't, ooh, right here, right here. Yes, let's go. We hit the mixtape when we pick it up. How about we sneak behind him, huh? How about we do the reverse rolls? Where's he going? Where's he going? <laughs> Look at this little guy. Moron. Let's go open these things. Can, wait, open the second one. What's going on? Wait, that says attic key. You see that? <gasps> okay, well, we know Chucky's down here. We've got loads of time. I'm not being funny, but like, how did he kill my parents? You see how slow he is? Let's go. Second key. This looks good. Nice and golden. We got it. Let's double check. Garage key one. And now we only have one step left. We make the great escape. Hey, bro. Look how stupid you are. Okay, look at him. Look at the back of his grill. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Is he coming in here? 
Oh, yeah. We flanked him. I literally want to kick this dude. I could just boot him like a football. Okay, we got it. We got it. We can open this door. I would seal this thing behind me. Please tell me we got the car keys or something. Microwave? A password? Wait. What? There's got to be somewhere where there was a piece of paper then. We need that password. Open these. No. Nope. Okay, thank goodness my parents weren't dumb enough to hide it down there. Let me see the number plate. We don't have a number plate. We're illegally driving on these roads. I think I was thinking like maybe four digits might be it. Wait, what the freak? We can hit those down. One nine or seven nine. Okay. Wait, wait maybe there's a code behind the pictures. And is it that simple? Let him go. Let him go. He's so stupid. Okay, so it's not behind that painting. We gotta look around then, guys. Maybe upstairs. Not behind the TV. So we got one nine or seven nine. Let's get one more paint. Yeah, you laugh as much as you want. You won't be getting me. You won't be getting me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, I kinda like this battle music. All right, guys, I'm putting this code in. I think it's that right there. Let's press okay. It is. Thank goodness for that. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I looked up a guide. I was trying so many paintings, nothing would work. So, wait, we got garden shears. We can do some gardening. Wait, 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 no, no, no. I know what we use that for. First of all, let me open the door. The freak, you chased me down! And he gives up just like that. So we probably snipped the lock, right? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Why are we going? Wait, deeper down? Oh my gosh. You know what, man? I'm just sprinting. My parents have this down here. Were they summoning dolls and bringing them back to life? That is what we'll find out. Press F. Let's go. Are we escaping? Why is the, how? How is the bass getting louder? So we thought we broke out. But it feels more like we just went to a different zone entirely. Prison sound like doors? What is with my parents' back garden? <laughs> the freak. From where? I don't need it right now. What do you need? I'm being laughed at by Chucky. And I absolutely have no idea where he even is. It's like a mass grave site. Try and pick up this one? I don't need it right now, it keeps saying. This date. What am I doing? Is there maybe a door or something I gotta burn through? This gate here. The gate will not be opened. We're close. We're very close to escaping, but we're missing something. This one step. Okay, what is this here? Press I to see the item. Looks like it fits somewhere. Some kind of indentation. One grave has got to fit in, maybe. Maybe an iconic one. What about this here? The light is flickering. Look at that. In that goes. All right, so with that slide in, I need an amulet. You got one, fella. Okay, there's a hammer back here. What the heck? What do I need the hammer for? Wait, there's also a document here. There seems to be something in this place. Okay, I see that cross upside down. So I gotta look for an upside down cross. That's where I use the hammer. Wait, this looks like a book fits. What the freak? This just keeps getting more and more confusing. I haven't even seen a book. Oh, here it is. That's it then. So it was on the wall. Break that down. Chucky's probably gonna be hearing that. Come on, crumble, crumble, crumble. And that's our book. So then we go ahead and we slot it back over in the corner. Let's pop it in. Raise the dead. Bro, you put the book in. What have I done? What the freak are we Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I want to clear away from this? I don't want like a demon to summon in and straight up eat me whole. Place a candle. This is where the candle's coming then. So now it's a fetch game. Guys, maybe it's best I just let Chucky take my ankles out. I'm starting to think that, you know? What am I doing? I'm about to summon a devil. All right, give me that candle. No, God. You have to take one candle at a time. I will spare you the torture of having to see this, guys. I'll be right back. Boom. We should be good. That's all the candles done, right? I have to draw him closer to the ritual. So now I have to find Chucky and bring him in. Come on, little fella. Wait. Oh, yeah. You were ready, weren't you? Come on, then. Bringing you into the ritual, you moron. We're about to take you out. That's it. Come this way. Nice and close. You see the flames coming up? Did we ignite this guy? I'm dying. Oh, yes, we did. And even still in his final moments, he grasped that knife. Ready to use it. What the heck, dude? We're good then, right? Dude, just die already, please. Just, like, drop dead. The game fades out, and it doesn't even show him passing away. Does that mean he died? Or does it mean simply... He is fire resilient! <laughs> All right, guys. Well... That happened, didn't it? You know, closing thoughts on all of this, though. Every single game worked exactly how intended, and I did have fun in each of the three unique experiences, so I gotta give kudos to the developers. Cage Face Far 1 was a creepy monster concept. I didn't get to look at him enough, I feel like, because I just had to run the moment I heard the birds or saw a little bit of light source coming. Maybe that's the intent, though. I'm glad I built my dog that house, even though he kind of turned into a demon, and as for Chucky, yeah, don't get this doll. Other than that, though, guys, this was another episode of Three Random Games. A very, very interesting and extremely random one when it came to the games, but yes! that's the point in this series. Either way, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy. Now, well, of course, see you on the next one.